here's the question. How many of us can add a duet with Lady Gaga onto our resume? Not very many, right? Well, this one young fan I did that, and she's sharing her story on Cabo in L.A. as it starts right now. Sensation Maria Aragon, who did a duet with Lady Gaga just recently, is going to be joining us today on Cabo Bay in LA via phone from uh, Canada. If you've been following me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Janelle. So we have been asking for questions for her or comments or messages for her. We also got those to those, uh, to those of you who sent that. And we're going to be uh, flashing that on the screen later on in the show. Magandang hapan mga Cabo Bay kayo po ay nanonood ng kauna-unahan at kaisa isang daily talk show para sa ating mga kababayan dito sa Amerika at tuwing uh, Martes po nakikipagkamustahan tayo mula sa Pilipinas. May Valdez is joining us on the line for our Manila Buzz. Hello and welcome to Kababayan LA. Hello ng mas maaga pala. Oh, <laughs> alam mo, I forgot, lang ako. I forgot to tell you na nag-daylight saving time dito. So nag-forward kami ng one hour. So now it's 7.30 in the morning there. Correct. Out Ayan. of love and loyalty for Kababayan LA, I am so ready to report at 7.31 in the morning here in the Philippines. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Thank you, May. Thank you. Yeah, Ayan. Okay. of course. All right. Una nating pag-usapan, mm -hmm. yung nangyaring yes. scare sa Pilipinas, because of what happened in Japan, of course, we're still very sad about that. We're still getting a lot of developments right. coming from that region. But then at the same time, dahil malapit ang Pilipinas, parang maraming nangangamba sa mga epekto nito sa Pilipinas. Alam mo, Janelle, akala yata ng Pilipinas, Japan siya. Bakit? Ganun, ganun yung intensity ng panic mode. Okay, perfect example. So, that happened March 11. I was in Palawan for my last event there, no? And when I learned about it from from tweets and from, you know, friends calling me left and right, asking me kung nakita ko na daw ba yung nangyari, nanonood daw pa ng CNN. Um, ang, ang, ang Philippines kasi, tama ka naman dyan, no? We're just several hours away from Japan. But yung panic mode natin, para ang lumagpas langit, no? Yung unang-una doon, yung sinabi nga na tayo yung next na mahihit Ta dahil daw yung yung galing doon sa Japan, pwedeng mag-cascade yung dito sa waters natin. So, maraming mga nilikas na, tama naman yun, no? Maraming mga nilikas na areas na malapit sa sa mga sa mga seas or sa waters, no? Mm -hmm. It's just that the manner of how things are being relayed here in the Philippines through text messaging na mga hoax, mm -hmm. um, yung sinabi the other day, ito naman recently, yung radiation from Japan may affect us. Mm -hmm. Um, na super frustrate lang ako at times because yung government medyo mabagal yung pag pagpakalma sa mga tao at pagbigay ng information na teka muna sandali hindi tayo muna dapat ganun magpanic okay. kasi May... to the point na pinauuwi na kami from Palawan dahil doon no kaya teka muna di ba may ganung level Pero may ang pag sinabi mong panic no we're seeing right now not exactly of uh, what was yung evacuation in the Philippines but we're still seeing videos and really, you know, uh, uh, clips from what's happening mm -hmm. in Japan. It's really devastating, May. At this point, ba yung mga kababayan natin, nakatutok pa rin ba sa nangyayari sa Japan or uh, has life moved on for them? You know, um, tayo kasi, we had that ondoy experience, no? Mm -hmm. So, medyo clo hitting close to home rin yung fact na, na parang ganun kasi yung nangyari, no? Although mas devastating yung sa kanila, pero tayo somehow we, we went through that same ordeal um, some, some time then ago, no? Um, the, the frustrating part with us is, um, since hindi tayo talaga directly na hit nito, no? Parang, syempre may efforts pa din, meron pa din, naaawa tayo sa fact na, na sobra talagang destructing talaga to their country. But, okay. um, hindi siya, hindi na siya, 
mas pinag-usapan pa yung hot scars kahapon. Ayan. Yung ganon. Okay. Janelle, okay. No? So, medyo, medyo hindi ko nararamdaman na um, as passionate pa rin tayo to talk about it or be in the know about it All right. as I hope we would be. Okay, so let's talk about the Ascals now. Um, with May, what All happened? Right. So, they had a fa they had a game against Mongolia or in Mongolia. That's right. Okay. At, and they uh, lost that game. Mm -mm. Oh, they lost that so, game, but they still yeah. advanced. Yes, that's right. Because in football, I believe the the total is what really counts in the end, no versus. Um, para to para the sa basketball, itself, yes. uh -oh. na best of seven, yun nga lang ito by total siya, no? Actually, um, going back lang to the Japan, uh, to the Japan tsunami, no? Um, yung ASCALS team member na si Jason Sabio, na stuck siya sa airport. Mm -hmm. ng Japan. Okay. So, is, na, uh, di directly meron ding effect yun dun sa naging laro naman ng Ascal sa Mongolia. No? So, hindi, he was unable to to make it. Okay. So, they lost the game to Mongolia 1-2, but they will still advance to the AFC um, because then, parang technically 3-2 yung, yung naging total ng lahat ng goals made. So, right. they're still advancing. But at least, this is another reason for our Kababayans to be proud, no? At uh, mal malibang That's tayo right. dun sa mga nangyayari sa Pilipinas. Sana naman, um, kahit na may ganitong magandang pangyayari, hindi natin makalimutan yung I mean, ongoing investigation dun sa alleged corruption yes. in the AFP and all that, correct? Yun ang nakikita natin, medyo mahirap sa Philippines, no? Parang madali tayong makalimot. Um, like up to now, ano na ba nangyari dun sa, yung sa Mindanao na nangyari exactly. noon na na grave ng pataya, no? So, marami tayong mga things na sana wag palipasin dahil right. lang okay. dahil lang sa oras. So. Ayan. Well, thank you so much, May. Naku, palagi thank na lang you. busy ng oras natin. But have a great day. Thank you for Oo waking nga. up early you for us. You also. Alright. Salamat. May Valdez, our Kababayan from Manila, reporting kung ano pong mga nangyayari sa Pilipinas. And like she mentioned earlier, marami pa rin po ang gustong tumulong sa ating mga uh, kaibigan, mga kapatid sa Japan. If you want to help uh, our brothers and sisters in Japan, please do so. Uh, they really need help. Any help we can uh, give right now, uh, text Red Cross to 90999 for your $10 donation. And uh, all you need to do is text the word Red Cross to 90999. No matter your uh, your cell phone provider, uh, pwede nyo pong ma-reach yung number na yan ng American Red Cross for Japan Earthquake and Pacific Tsunami Fund. We are going to be back with Maria Aragon on Kababayan LA. Don't go away.